Whales pass Phillip Island on their migration north to the warmer waters of Queensland. People love the whales and Phillip Island holds a whale festival to bring people together to celebrate them. This year we had an intercultural arts program within the festival and we invited some special artists from Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal heritage to come together to help celebrate the whales and the environment. Arts are a shortcut into connection and we find whether we're working in ceremony or participative community arts events or in circles that there's a sense of connection and that what connects us is stronger than what might divide us. Art can just bring people together, different forms of art, and it can bring people together and I've seen it, every day I see it. We use song to facilitate creative language revival and at this year's Island Whale Festival we worked with Auntie Faye Stuart Muir to guide us through the protocols and the pronunciation of the use of Bunurang language. What's the Bunurang word, Auntie Faye, for listen? Can you say it one more time? Helen, can you say it? And I collaborated closely with a much loved singer and musician, Ruth McKittrick Chambers. And we ran a number of song circles where we taught songs that we'd written in language. And people then get a way of hearing the language and feeling the language and hearing the sound of the language as they sing it. And we also engaged people from Walgunganalu, Aboriginal men and artists there, who decorated large scale whales with Aboriginal designs that were incorporated into the Whale Migration Mural, which was an activity facilitated by community artist Camille Monet. We need to respect the other animals that live live in the sea, live in the water, we need to have clean water. Think all about these things about our future because if we don't keep it clean, this our mother earth is not going to be clean for the next generation to come.
know, gathering place. Um, Keep time out. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you're out of a job. Tell us, tell us again, Callum. Being on country is really the number one um, in as far as um, the old people and the ancestors. So my connection to country is really the voice. Yeah, that I'm listening to. I sing so much praise It makes my country want to cry This, this that you see today is the vehicle 53 year old vehicle that carries my 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000 year old spirit it's hard to conceptualise because you see the physicalness of Kutcher Edwards. Yulale, 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 yulale. Aboriginal people weren't considered in the same way as everyone else and even as a migrant yeah. going to school, my experience of Aboriginal people was, was quite upsetting, disconcerting, and I kept wondering to myself, why is it so? For you know, this story is told, one, two, three, four. We are the oldest people of yesterday, Aboriginal people, and if you can come to a realisation of that, and enter into conversations, but so that they don't feel displaced in our own country. And what you can do tonight is go home, tell, tell your family, mum or dad, or if you're of my age or older, you can say to your grandchildren, hey grandson, Granddaughter, guess what I did today? I sang in an Aboriginal language for the first time. On Bunwaran country. One, two, three, four. <laughs> in intercultural arts, there is a way to listen to the knowledge of traditional custodians of this land. And there's deep wisdom there about responsibility to country, about the sense of belonging to country, about our sense of connection with all living creatures.